these are absolutely my, I know mine's glued to my hip. I know it's a bad yeah. thing, you oh, know? Right yeah. yeah. Um, yeah exactly. Like how do you, um, like when you're in work mode, you're in work mode and do you put on like airplane mode on your phone or do you put your phone in another room? Like, how do you get into like deep work, like Cal Newport, like, boom, like I'm dedicating whatever half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour and a half, whatever your focus period is. Or do you do it into smaller chunks, like Pomodoro technique, like put on a timer for 30 minutes, take a break for 10 kind of a thing? Yeah, I tend to like use a timer. And I'll often put it somewhere else just because they also have signals that are moving through the air, you know. So if you put it in the other room or leave it in the car, let it charge for a while and set up a timer. I do think it eases people's anxiety if they have a timer. Say, okay, I'm only doing this for 30 minutes or I'm only doing it for 10 minutes or whatever might be the time frame that you need because we are kind of attached to it. And if you grew up with it, it might be really difficult to do. Uh, but I think you have to practice that too because you want your mind to be able to become calm. And if it constantly needs stuff going in and out all the time, you're gonna drive yourself just a little bit batty with that, you know? And so you gotta practice, even if it's like two minutes at the beginning and then five minutes and then 10 and say, you know, I'm gonna put this over there for two hours and just go do something else partly as a, an exercise just to not pick it up so that you can get control over that like dopamine loop again because someone else is controlling it all the time with the phone and that's a bit of a you know a troublesome thing you know absolutely yeah and that's another thing too is like uh i'm someone that i've experimented with re-regulating my dopamine 